Greetings, my excellent friends, it's Josh Cripps here. And in this video, I wanna share with you five of my favorite little quick camera tips and tricks that can help improve your landscape photography. We don't got any time to waste, so let's get into it, let's go! What the heck are you doing? We don't have time for an intro. We're gonna do this thing as fast as possible. So I'm gonna start the timer right now. We're gonna try to get through this in five minutes. No cuts, no edits, just frantic landscape photography, camera tricks, my favorites to help you improve your photography. So the first one I'm gonna be talking about is exposure delay mode. And this is kind of like mirror up mode, except you don't need a remote to do it. The camera does it automatically. It's available on Nikons. I'm not other, actually sure about other camera brands. This is just a good reason for everybody to switch to Nikon. Anyway, what it works is like this. So with the uh, mirror delay mode or mirror up mode, you hit a shutter button once the mirror comes up and that lets the vibrations from the camera die off. And then you hit the button again and then it takes the picture. So it removes any like hand pushing shake from your camera. What exposure delay mode is, is it takes out that second push so you set a delay like up to three seconds when you press the shutter button the camera snaps the shutter up it waits for three seconds then it takes a picture so this is great if you're too lazy to carry a remote like me or if you just don't have one with you but you still want the effects of that mirror up mode so exposure delay use it don't abuse it it's awesome Okay, next one we're gonna get into is back button focus. If you guys aren't using back button focus, I 100% recommend setting it up. And this one, I know every single camera manufacturer does it. You have to check how to do it with your brand, but you basically set it up so that this button back here is your focus and not your shutter button. And this is incredibly important because a lot of times you wanna be using, say like the central focal points in your, your camera. They're the most accurate, they're the fastest. But if you're setting up a composition and you focus and then you recompose like this and then you press the shutter button and that's still where your focus is, your camera might change focus. So if you set up a composition, you focus on a tree like this and then you move a little bit and you focus in the middle of them inadvertently by pressing the shutter button, you don't want that, right? You want your camera to focus once and to stick with that focus until you actively change it again. So by back button focusing, you can set that up. You focus on your subject, you can recompose as much as you want. When you press the shutter button, the camera will not refocus. It's fantastic for not screwing up your shots. Okay, the next one I wanna talk about is the exposure preview histogram. Almost every modern camera has this now. It's this little guy you can see right down here in the display. And what that does is it shows you your exposure before you take a picture. It almost makes metering obsolete obsolete because you can see exactly what your histogram, at least what the camera thinks the histogram is going to look like. Uh, you always have to go back and after you take the picture, review the actual histogram, the playback histogram, but that live preview histogram is going to get you so close to a perfect exposure before you ever even trip the shutter button. It's incredible. Now I think this works best when you use it in tandem with the blinkies. So you want to go to your playback display options and turn on the highlight warning or whatever it's called in your camera, the technical term depth definitely is the blinkies and that will just show any blown out parts of your photograph so you know whether your exposure is too bright and on some cameras you can also turn on a shadow clipping warning so that you know if your exposure is too dark. Now here's a really good question for you though. How do you know that this histogram is accurate? How do you know that it's representing what the actual raw data is? Well, the way that you do that is through what are called picture controls or picture styles. And for these, I highly recommend that you use the most neutral, the most flat one that you've got. So that's gonna be something like neutral or flat. Imagine that, imagine that. Well, somehow a little accent started to sneak in there to my voice. Anyway, what those picture controls do, so your camera records all this raw data, right? And then depending on the picture control that you've applied, like landscape, vivid, portrait, etc., it's gonna add contrast, saturation, sharpening to that image. And then it's gonna show you that transformed image that has those adjustments. That's the image that you see when you press play on your camera. That's also the histogram that the camera shows you. So how can you say that your raw, or that your histogram is accurate if if you're actually looking at a modified version of the raw data, right? You've taken the raw data, you've added saturation, contrast, sharpening, and then it shows you the histogram for that. But what happens if, you, if your photo is almost blown out, the raw data is almost blown out, and then you have something like a landscape picture control that adds even more contrast, it might stretch the histogram out so the fact to the point that the highlights 
that the histogram is showing you are blown out, but they might not be blown out in the raw data. It's just that transformation. It's just that adjustment that's happening in the camera. So if you use the neutral or the flat picture control, that actually gives you the best idea of what the raw data actually is. And that's fine because in the field, we're not trying to actually take the best, or I should say, we're not trying to create the prettiest possible picture in the camera. What we're trying to do is capture the best possible data and using that flat or neutral picture control gives you a more accurate idea of what that raw data is. Whew. Okay, now the last one that I wanna talk about is incredibly important, you guys. Don't be a dummy like me and do things like before you go on some gigantic important photography trip, forget to clean your sensor. Please, you guys, clean your sensors, especially if you're a mirrorless camera shooter. Clean that thing all the time, every two weeks, every month at an absolute minimum. Don't be an idiot like I am and forget to clean it for like six months at a time. Anyway, and if you've never done this yourself before, I know it's intimidating, but it's actually not that bad. It's not that scary once you get into it. You just need a couple of tools. Uh, I recommend, you know, like, this and a drill and you can't forget the staple gun and no I'm just kidding you don't need any of that stuff what you need is a rocket blower you need some swabs like this you can order these on Amazon I'll put a link down below and you need some sensor cleaning fluid like this stuff you just put a couple of drops boop, 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 on this not too much now just the right amount and then you put it at a 60 degree angle across your sensor. I'm not gonna do it right now because I just cleaned it. And you just go swipe once, swipe back. That's it, you're done. Sensor is clean, it's easy, it's not that scary. The scariest time is the first time. But trust me, you guys, clean your camera sensor. It's gonna make your life so much better. And anyway, whew, we're done. How do we do? Uh, six minutes, crap. I didn't make it under five, but I hope that you guys got a lot out of that. Anyway, those are five of my, that's not five, that's 10. Those are five of my favorite camera tips and tricks to improve your landscape photography. If you guys enjoyed this video, I would love it if you could subscribe to the channel, like it, share it with your friends, all that good stuff. It really helps me out a lot. And until next time, have fun, happy shooting. Whew.